seven different kinds of spider monkeys found in the world, two kinds can be found here at the Gladys Porter Zoo, the Mexican spider monkey and the black spider monkey. You can usually see them using their limbs and tails to show off their acrobatic skills. Spider monkeys are arboreal mammals, which means they spend most of their time in trees. These monkeys get their name because they use their long limbs and tails to hold on to different branches, which makes them look like a spider. They have hook-like hands with long fingers and their elongated arms allow them to move through the trees using a hand-over-hand -hand motion called brachiation. What makes them unique is that on each hand, they only have four fingers and no opposable thumb. They also have a prehensile tail. What is a prehensile tail? A prehensile tail is a tail of an animal that has adapted to be able to grasp or hold objects. Spider monkeys are well recognized because of their tail. It's like an extra hand. They use it to hold and manipulate objects. It also helps them to move in trees to find food. The underside of the tail is tough. It does not have any hair. At the tip of the tail, there is a patch of skin with a fingerprint-like pattern, which resembles a human fingerprint. At the Gladys Porter Zoo, each troop, that's what a group of spider monkeys is called, lives on their own island. The troop of Mexican spider monkeys consists of four monkeys, Paco, Galena, Cookie, and the baby of the group, Chloe. The troop is outgoing and responds well to the keepers and enjoys receiving special treats, with the exception of Cookie, who tends to keep to herself. Five monkeys call the Black Spider Monkey Island their home. Old Timer is the oldest female on the island. Duke and Robin are parents to Bobby and Christopher, the youngsters of the troop. All of them are very outgoing except for Robin, who's shy. These two troops will communicate with one another whether it be with actions or noises, which is pretty cool to watch. Thanks for watching. Share this video with friends and family and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Wild Science with HEB playlist to learn more about tales.